So many times we are looking for shiny objects. That, that's a syndrome. I want something that shines, something that glows. I want something that encourages. I want something that brings about applause. And rage. I'm looking for excitement. I'm exploring all, all the realms of hedonism. It's a sin, looking for shiny objects. And we say, I want to find God and know God, but I've got more questions. I haven't looked at every religion in the world yet. I haven't studied all the philosophical truths yet. And any time we have an answer, these people, they always have another question. And here's another answer. Here's another question. And Solomon says, you can spend all of your life questions and answers and questions and answers and never land, never make a decision. Let me tell you something, folks. There are two things I hear on television that I absolutely am almost violent about, personal. With another politician or talking head says we're going to kick the can down the road, I want to kick them right in the shins. <laughs> if there's ever been a phrase that's worn, slap, dab, out, it's that one. It means let's just put everything off. Listen, our government is Phi Beta Kappa in putting everything off already. So if I hear that phrase, I just get kind of temporarily psychotic. <laughs> the other phrase that upsets me, you get into a serious conversation about a great moral or ethical question, and somebody will say, we need to have further conversation about that. You know what I want to do? I want to take whoever said that out and ask them a couple of questions. I want to say, let me ask you something. Have you ever had conversations about critical issues before with people? Oh, yes. My next question is, tell me one thing you've ever done or changed as a result of those conversations. I don't think I'd have a lot of comeback. Listen, there's a time to talk and discuss. Then there's a time to move into action. There's a time to speculate about all of our problems. And then there's a time to do something about all of our problems. There's a time to ask questions about God and life and space. And there's a time to receive divine answers and respond to God and what he means about life. That is what Solomon is saying. Don't spend all your time speculating somewhere. You have to respond to truth. And he says, that matters.